In this triad exercise, we are asked to solve the equation 2 times n minus 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. And again, the steps are essentially the same as they were in the example that we were given. Uh, our first step is to simplify each side of the equation as much as possible. So in this case, I'll go ahead and rewrite the, the equation. So 2 times m minus 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. So the right side is just a constant, so it's already simplified. Uh, on the left side, to simplify, uh, to, to begin simplifying, we would first distribute the 2. So we'd multiply 2 by m and 2 by negative 4. So the first step is to distribute. So that gives us 2m minus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 equals negative 1. We'll go ahead and simplify first. Combine like terms. Either statement is fine. So on the left-hand side, we have minus 8 and plus 3. That's going to be minus 5. So 2m minus 5 equals negative 1. We want the variable terms on the left side by themselves. In this case, there's only one variable term, the 2m. So we will add 5 to both sides. You don't have to write it out, but I'm going to. Uh, so you can see what we're doing. And that gives us 2m on the left-hand side equals negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Divide both sides by 2. And that gives us m equals 2. That's always a good idea to check your solution, so we'll go ahead and check this solution. And we do that by uh, essentially doing what we did in, in, in the first example and uh, triad exercises where we were given an equation and asked, is this value a solution? Well, now we have what we think is a solution, and we need to determine if it is. So we substitute back into the original equation and make sure that it ends up with a true statement. So 2 times... We have m equals 2 minus 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and put a question mark up here just like we did before. So 2 times 2 minus 4 is negative 2 plus 3. Again, we're wanting that to equal negative 1. Negative 4 from the 2 times negative 2 plus 3 equals negative 1. And negative 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. So we do end up with negative 1 equals negative 1. A true statement. So this solution does check.